Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Tejas Manala and today we will explore how one can get the bow ready to play the violin. The thing that one must understand is that when you draw the bow on the string of the instrument, it causes the string to vibrate. But this vibration is possible only when there's a sufficient amount of friction between the hairs of the bow and the string. So the way that you increase the friction caused by the bow is by using something called rosin. I have a block over here in my hand. So rosin is a synthetic resin that is, uh, uh, it's made from the sap of trees. So what you do is you take your bow and then you run the whole extent of the bow hairs right from the tip end to the frog end multiple number of times. So what then happens is the, the powder from the rosin starts to stick to the bow hair and this allows for the bow to cause more friction when we draw it on a string. Especially when your bow is new, you need to run it on the rosin block many number of times in order for the, for the powder to stick to the bow. Now that you have your rosin applied to the bow, we'll move on to setting the tension of the bow hairs in a correct way. So initially leave your uh, bow hairs loose and you can see them loose and flappy in the video in front of you. So if you were to place the bow on the string with such a level of tension, you can see that not only the hairs, but the bow is also, the bow stick is also coming into contact with the string. So if I were to draw the bow using this level of tension, it would sound <coughs> kind of scratchy because the wood of the bow is also coming into contact with the string. So let's increase the tension of the bow by turning the screw clockwise. Now I think I've set the tension of the bow in a correct way. And the way that I can tell that is, even when I were to press down on the bow slightly, the bow stick curves in such a way that it's just above the string. It's not touching the string anymore. But yet the natural curvature of the bow is still maintained. So now that you've learned how to apply rosin and hopefully how to set the tension of the bow hairs in a correct way, there's one more thing I'd like to bring your attention to, which is uh, after every practice session, remember without fail to loosen the hairs of the bow. The reason being is that if we don't do that, the bow warps and it completely loses its shape. So always remember to loosen the bow hairs after every practice session. So that's how you set up the bow in order to start playing the violin. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share uh, this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video.